I call this meeting of the Winniconnie Community School District School Board to order. It is Monday, April 4th, and we're meeting in the middle school large group lecture area. Meeting notices were sent to members of the press, members of the school board, and were posted in the front doors and or vestibules of district buildings. This is a meeting of the Board of Education in public for the purpose of conducting the school district's business and is not to be considered a public hearing. There may be a time for public comment as indicated in the agenda. The meeting is also available to watch live at www.youtube.com stroke Winnicani. If you would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Roll call, please. Stelzner. Here. Ledoux. Here. Verich. Here. Zeller. Here. Hansen, absent. Cundy, here. Ronk. Here. Uh, recognizing the uh, admin team that's here, Mrs. Mashad, Mr. Smith, Ms. Dodd, uh, Dr. Uh, Hughes, Dr. Larson, Mr. Muneer, and uh, Mr. Jarabek and Mr. Whitford. Have I missed anyone? Very good. Uh, now is the time for uh, open forum. Uh, this is a time during which you may comment on anything that is on tonight's agenda or items that you would like to see on future agendas. We'll uh, limit uh, comments to uh, about two minutes. Uh, and uh, you will have had to have signed up on this blue form. Is there anybody that didn't sign up that wants to? Okay. Uh, Katie Houlihan. This is all good stuff. Um, I just want to say, we invite you guys. We have our color run on April 30th for the PTA. We have around 700 people participating. It starts at the high school and run behind the um, neighborhood behind the pig. Um, but our kids raised about $29,000 wow. for it. So we're gonna be able to um, function next year and buy books and buy all kinds of other fun stuff for the kids. So I just wanted to invite you guys to that fun. We'll have hopefully have some special guests. So go pack go, hopefully. So um, come and enjoy the fun. Super. Outstanding effort. Thank you. Tracy Ellis. Um, I'm coming up to basically thank the board. Um, thank you for what you do. Thank you what you, for what you've been dealing with um, the last few months. Um, Bob, I want to thank you for the service that you've had and what you've done over the years that um, I've been here. Um, Mark, good luck tomorrow. Um, I hope you get in. I just want the community to remember that our students are seeing all of this as well. Um, the, the impact that this is having on us as teachers and as a community. Um, I'm looking forward to get it getting back to be a positive atmosphere again, because right now it's not. And that's super frustrating when we're in the buildings trying to do what's best for our kids. You guys are here doing, trying to do what's best for all of us. And so I just wanted to let you know that you are very much appreciated for what you're doing. Thank you, Tracy. Um, ben Meyer. I'm new to this whole city politics, but I got a, quite a few things to say. Um, every one of you guys need to apologize to the parents and the children of this town for the way you guys treated them through this whole pandemic, forcing masks, forcing them to stay home over a common cold. These kids have suffered physical and psychological problems because of the, what you guys did. That's an apology that needs to be told to every single one of these parents. And remember that you guys are elected officials, public servants, 
to these people here. That's what you're supposed to listen to. You didn't listen to them during the Mass. None of, parents didn't want their kids to be forced to wear them, and you still forced them anyways. Kids hurt bad from this, especially the younger kids. The other thing I'm going to tell you is that CRT, social emotional learning, has nothing to do in our school. It is a propaganda for these kids. I want to hear nothing from the school on this. My kids have heard it. I don't want any of this in, in any part of our school system. The other thing is I want to thank every one of you for waking up every one of these people to come here and speak against you and to tell you what they want for their kids. This is the future right here, and these younger kids are the future of this community. We want no more of this. That's all I have for you. Thank you. Adam Ahrens. I just want to say thank you, Bob, for meeting me uh, with me on Wednesday. It was, uh, you know, even even though we didn't agree on much, it still was nice to sit down and talk with someone. So, also, I shouldn't say we didn't agree on much, but just, anyway. So, I just wanted to read the board member behavior and code of conduct from 0144.5. Board member behavior and code of conduct. The board functions most effectively when individual board members act ethically, professionally, and responsibly general expectations of all board members. Conduct themselves with integrity, honesty, and in a manner that reflects positively on the board and the district. Establish and maintain a high level of honesty, credibility, and truthfulness in all matters dealt with by the board. So I understand you may say, well, you know, that to, this, to other people also, but you as board members are held to a higher standard than the public. So thank you. Thank you, Ryan. With that, I'll uh, close the open forum and entertain a motion uh, for the consent agenda. So moved. Second. A motion by Zeller, seconded by uh, Cundy. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Stelzner. Aye. Ledoux. Aye. Verich. Aye. Zeller. Aye. Cundy, aye. Ronk. Aye. The next agenda item flows from uh, some of the community uh, sessions that uh, I've done, been at for the uh, upcoming referendum, um, as well as discussions with a number of you one-on-one, -on -one, including the uh, uh, meeting that I had with, uh, with Aaron last week. And uh, clearly, uh, we have some uh, issues and uh, differences of opinion that's probably healthy. Um, and the structure of the board meeting and the laws and statutes that govern us make it difficult to get past some of those. So in the spirit of trying to uh, leave my time on the board uh, with something uh, constructive, I'd like to entertain uh, this motion. The board shall establish quarterly community listening and dialogue meetings. This meeting will be posted with a stipulation that no board business will be conducted. At least two board members will attend, one of which must be an officer. Attendees will be rotated. Minutes will be recorded and filed with other board documentation. And the officer attending will present a summary of topics discussed. The board president and district superintendent shall place actionable topics on future board agendas. Is there a second? I'll second that. Discussion. Starting immediately, or when are you anticipating this starting? I would start it after the uh, new board members uh, take office. Um, and I would leave it to the board to choose sometime in the second quarter, whether they want to do it in the middle of the quarter or at the close of the quarter, um, and just then try to uh, maintain that time frame so that people are aware of when it's going to come up.
any other uh, comments or questions? Roll call, please. Ledoux? Aye. Verich? Aye. Zeller? Aye. Cundi Aye. Stelzner? Aye. Ronk? Aye. WCSD policies. Mr. Cundy? <clears throat> Again, tonight uh, we have some additional policies that we're bringing forward, and our policy committee with Jackie and Becky and myself have reviewed these. And at this time, we've got three additional policies that we're bringing forth. Policy 9270, home-based private and tribal schooling, 7A. This policy here, there's very little or so as far as changes or additions. In the first paragraph, as you'll see, um, the addition with they crossed out is such children. And then with the additional language of private education, tribal school education students, within this policy, that's the only additions or admissions that are part of the presented policy. 7B1, excuse me, 7B1 is rel <clears throat> relations with educational institutions and organizations. As we go through this policy, you can see there's a lot of addition of language. Um, as we go three quarters or halfway down the policy, where we start with the options, the district administrator is authorized, and the district administrator may consider none of those areas are checked all the way through the ending of the policy. And if we go to 7B2, there's some additional None of those as well are checked. And as we read through, their conflicting requests shall be evaluated based on relative value to district initiatives, students and employees with priority given to project proposals from institutions located in and or individuals residing in the district. Um, the additional language that is there, uh, we had no further question with on this policy. If we have any questions as we go through, just bring them up and we can work through them. Bart, there's just a semantic on the third paragraph of that one. Is it 7B1 or 2, I'm sorry? Um, 7B1, just where it says involve, I, I think it might just want to be changed to involving. Okay. <clears throat> Is it where the board advised of any arrangements involving the use of? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. The next policy, policy 9700, relations with non-school affiliated groups. Um, as you can see, there is just some additional language of all crowdfunding activities are subject to policy 6605. Crowdfunding, a check mark is not needed, no check mark there. Um, we don't have a policy 6605. And so that are the policies um, for tonight presented. And if we can have one motion and a second uh, to approve these policies as the three. I move to approve policy number 9270, 9500, and 9700 as discussed. Second. Motion by Verich, seconded by uh, Zeller. Roll call, please. Verich? Aye. Zeller? Aye. Cundi I. Stelzner? Aye. Ledoux? Aye. Ronk? Aye. Do any of the administrators have anything <coughs> to add to the admin reports? Board reports. Any communications? I have no communication. Committee reports, HR. We haven't met. Financial planning, uh, nothing at this time. PR marketing. Uh, we finished up the last of our community referendum meetings uh, last week. The last one was at the Legion. Um, it was nice to be invited in to that and speak to the, that group of people. They had a lot of questions. Um, it was a good, engaging conversation, and they actually invited us to stay and keep talking a little bit during their social hour. So it was a, a nice way to end those meetings, however people decide to vote. Could I just have a quick update to the administrative report? Yes. Um, 
I, this is kind of going back to the state uh, powerlifting uh, meet, but I just wanted to commend the powerlifting team for winning boys and girls national titles this uh, two weekends ago. So that was awesome. Yeah. And policy. Uh, yes, uh, we have a policy meeting after tonight's board meeting where our policy on bullying will be in closed session and because it, there are some specific uh, students that's involved with that and after we get done with the bullying policy we'll be opening it up um, because we've got four or five other policies that we will be reviewing for our next regular board meeting. Thank you, Mark. I would uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. A motion by Verich, uh, seconded by uh, Ledoux. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? We are adjourned.